Hey there, it's Dorlene, and today I'm going to share my fourth signature in my junk journal. And I have two more to go after this. And once I finish the signatures, I'll talk about the cover and how I uh, completed the book. This right here is a clear sticker. And I've mentioned in my other flip throughs that a lot of times if I like something that I've created, I'll either make colored copies of them or I'll put them on labels. And in this case, I put them on clear labels. So I added the label here. And this little portion right here, creativity is a gift meant to be shared, was on the back of a postcard that I got when we were in San Antonio. It's very bright. So obviously I'm doing something Christmassy. This Eiffel Tower and the holly was cut after I made a copy of a napkin that I came across um, during one of the holidays. It was so pretty and uh, I knew I wanted to reuse it. And then this I have covered up because I was painting and things, but this is a picture of myself and my longtime friend with Santa when we were young teenagers. This is a magazine sheet that um, I used. And on this page, I had this heart cut out. And so I washi taped it on and you can see the sweater from the magazine behind it. This is not a complete page, obviously, but I think that's so fun and it's a good start. Um, same with this one. This is uh, what, what I've been calling blank pages. So over here in the corner, it's kind of hard to see, but it's the um, three monkeys, the see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. Um, and this is from a wine label. I'm not much of a wine drinker, but I do <laughs> appreciate a good wine label. <laughs> so I, I try to make copies of those because they're so interesting too. That's what's fun about the 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 junk journal is, you know, I collect all these things or postcards or, you know, people are making all these, you know, sell flyers or whatever and you know you keep them and then you think well what am I going to do with them well this is what you're going to do with them you're going to put them in a junk journal and I just added a, a note paper with lines probably write something some kind of journaling or or do something with that this is another one of my um another piece of one of my arts that I just made a color copied of that's one thing that's fun about the junk journals too is you don't you can vary the sizes you can vary the uh, the positions and things like that so this is um a book a piece of uh, a tour out of a, a paperback book so you take certain words of the book and then you highlight them so what I did is I actually covered them with some washi tape and then I painted and I made you know all my little marks and stuff on this page once it was dry I removed the washi and then highlighted the be wonderful every night I did the same thing on this side but instead of a, finding a lot of words I, I just highlighted the word hello so that one's kind of fun and this is just a piece of copier paper. So this one, you could tell I did some mark making, but this is what I would call a blank page because it definitely needs some more things to it. And this is a small envelope. It's added a piece of paper that I was experimenting with some um, chalk paint that I have. This is a huge piece of washi tape that can be colored. So that needs to have something added to that as well. And there's another one of those stick. This is a, a notebook paper that had some green splashes and so then I just added some black kind of lines and, and marks here and there stamped a uh, sentiment in the butterfly wing so that's a complete page I like that this is the back side my granddaughter messed around with this and the thing that was fun with this is she started and she just kept adding color and color and color and pretty soon it ended up really muddy she didn't like it so she kind of gave up and then I told her my trick which I'll share with you is if you get to a point where you're like, oh my gosh, I absolutely hate it, you don't have to toss it. Just put a put a, a layer of either like white paint or white gesso. It just tones it down a little bit, which is what happened here because it was really dark red. And you can see by adding that white gesso over it, now it's almost like a dark pink. And you could still see the layers of stamping she did. You could still see the layers of the purple. Uh, and then she stamped this sunflower on it but because it had so much medium and she didn't let it dry it, you couldn't really see it but she just got a sharpie and, and and drew around it so it's it's absolutely perfect and then we put little gold around it and she wrote her name and i added the year to that this reset button was on a postcard for something advertising something but i just liked the word reset and it was a button so then i wrote down can we reset 2020 because i'm sure we all want to do that and this paper that I use to cover the, the piece that this is on is a piece of, it's that newspaper print. That's what this is. And I use it for an under paper for when I am working on a project. So these are all like sprays and some stamp offs you can see. 
and um, paints, diff this and that. Look at that, it even has a tear in it because you can see through what the, the base page is. And then I just, you can tell I added a couple marks here because I look like I tried to coordinate it with that green. But, um, so that's a complete page. This is more painting from my granddaughter. And then this sheet on this side looked very similar to this side where I just had kind of blue spot splotches and you can kind of see this blue splotches in the background. And I had used printed these pictures of my granddaughters just using a copier. So the quality is not, you know, the, the best, but I just thought it looked perfect because it kind of had a summer feel with those blues. And then I added that some sunglasses, washi tape. If I need to do more on this page, maybe I'll find a quote or something. But even the, the places you'll go was, oh, I'm looking at that. That's actually really cool. I need to kind of highlight that a little bit. Imagine the places you'll go. That's perfect for those girls. You know, again, I just kind of have just paints here and there, some stickers, no rhyme or reason. This is like a blank page. And then this little cutie right here is a box that my good friend Terry made because I love the way she uses markers to highlight you know the, the her stamping and um so i decided to fold this put it in here i still want to do something like maybe put um either tags or photos or notes something so they're like pockets i just haven't done that yet but i, I definitely am glad that i'm keeping that in there and then this page um was originally just you know again a mop up you could see the purples on there and these triangles what i do a lot is if i'm cutting in this case is a lot of triangles from um, with my Cricut for a different project. So instead of throwing that cardstock base away, I use it for a stencil. And that's what I did here. I added some blue paint. And then these cuttables, this, the word here, I want to say it's illustrated faith, but I really wish I would have wrote it down. I'm kind of surprised I didn't. Um, but they offered a lot of free printables. Um, I really liked, you know, this friendship of four women all different colors, all different sizes. So that's really fun. I really like that page. And then this one, I really worked on a lot. You can see that. And I really like the brightness of it. I just need to put something on there. And then this page, I had all this red ink. And the bad thing about using red, red ink or paint is a lot of times it just looks like a blob of blood, which is what it looked like after I scrapbooked some Halloween pictures. It's my son and my daughter-in-law. And I just thought that was a perfect place to put it because, you know, he's all bloody and it's just all kind of this bloody mess. That's a sticker that I have there, but I'm probably going to add some kind of quote. And then this is, a, um, I love this. So what I did is I sprayed a bunch of different um, ink sprays. And um, and then what I did is I, I used a pencil and drew these three flowers. And then I just used a paintbrush with some white gesso and went around it. And then once I was done, I used an ink uh, black pen to to highlight or to outline the flowers. And then I, I stamped a, um, a quote there. But I really like that because I really like the neon colors and it just really is bright and kind of in your face. This was just a watercolored um, sunflower. It's that same stamp that my granddaughter used earlier. I colored it in ink and then sprayed it so you get like a watercolor effect. So I was just kind of messing around with that and it was sitting on my desk. I didn't like it enough for a card, but I thought it was good enough for in here. What do I have in there? Oh, flip. So this is what I wanted to really show you. So this is, um, we're Giants, San Francisco Giants fans, give you your, your their schedule. This is a little tri-fold um, thing with their schedule. And if you look close enough, you can see the orange and you can see in here. Um, so it's just all paint, um, some washi stamps. Um, and this piece right here, I actually have a note card made from this. If you're interested in a note card of this, I'll have it on my blog, which is www.craftsinthecommandcenter.blogspot.com. And it's also up there and it will be below. But check them out. Um, they, they're so beautiful. I love those cards. And um, so this is just some pattern paper, um, some more unfinished pages. This was from a baby shower invitation. So I cut out the succulents, the, the top and bottom border, flipped the baby shower invitation around and then just plop that on there. Um, this is a little envelope. This is a mandola that I did. Those stamps I got from 
rubber paws, which you can read about her on my blog as well. It was my sister's, my sister's sister-in-law um, who passed away a few years back. And um, I inherited a whole bunch of her, her supplies and her stamps. I, I would never think that I would use an armadillo, uh, armadillo, oh my goodness, armadillo, armadillo. I don't even know what they're called, <laughs> but they're so cute on this page. So I did four because I have four kids, three boys, and there's my little girl. Um, that's supposed to be me. But I love this quote that I got off Pinterest. It says, in the end, I am the only one who can give my children a happy mother who loves life. I just, I just know. I just like that because it is true. And then these are just some more mop-up pages. Um, this one actually, you can tell the sprays are here. So these just came through. So it just went through the pages. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is my, um, your granted three wishes. These were my wishes. So this was a fun page that I did. I actually did this for a design team thing years ago. And I just had some um, ink pads that I put on the side and, and wiped them down. And then I stamped this lamp on there and just colored it in and do some washi and some marks here and there. I like that page. That's kind of ugly, but work in progress. And then here's one that um, was another freebie from, this one's from Print, Pray, and Slay, another Bible journal or company. I don't know if you can see this. It's these woven pieces of paper. This was just scrap paper that I should have just thrown away, but I wove them together and then I used a bunch of sprays and paint and ink. And I really thought it coordinated well with the browns and the neutral color. And this on the back side, I just put rows and rows and rows of washi tape, and then I put gesso over it to lighten it. And then those are just some sprays or mop-up that I did from another project. And then this portion right here, this is actually a business card. It's the back of a business card when we were in San Antonio, and I had to keep that because look how pretty that is. I mean, that's so gorgeous. And uh, so I just put the adhesive like on the L, so it kind of gives like a little um, pocket. And this was a bookmark that I made. Probably put a ribbon or something on that. And these are just um, watercolor, like a splotch. A little, and really nothing. Again, have to finish that up. Oh, there we go. We're, we're done. So stay tuned. That was signature number four. I still have five, six. And then I'll be the final one where I'll talk about the cover, how I put this together, and also give you some tips on making your own. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.